Okay, geometry, 6-5, rhombi and squares. Okay, a rhombi is just a plural term for rhombus, and a rhombus is a parallelogram. Do I have a perfect rhombus there? I don't. All right, so let's just do this. A rhombi is a parallelogram with congruent sides. This is actually a rhombus, and then the plural form is rhombi. Again, the biggest difference here is that all four of those sides are going to be congruent just like a square would be. I don't like the location of that. There we go. All right, so our square is going to have similar features. All four sides are congruent. Okay, so let's look at some um, Let's look at some properties that are a little bit different. For a rhombus, and I want to copy this one. Okay, so a rhombus has many of the same properties uh, that a parallelogram has. Um, the opposite angles are congruent. Opposite sides are congruent. Opposite sides are parallel. But the main difference in this one is that uh, and I'm just going to label the main differences. In a rhombus, <clears throat> um, all sides are congruent. Okay, so that's what distinguishes it from a parallelogram, is in rhombus all sides are congruent. The second difference is that the diagonals are perpendicular. Okay, diagonals are perpendicular. And the third main difference is that the diagonals will bisect opposite angles. Okay, so the diagonals are now angle bisectors. Okay, so now let's take a look at a square. Okay, square shares a lot of features with with other shapes. Um, obviously, in a square, the diagonals are congruent. They are also perpendicular. And just like a rectangle, all four angles are 90 degrees. Okay, all four angles are 90 degrees. Um, the diagonals in this case also bisect the opposite angles, just like they did in a rhombus, because a um, a square can be a rhombus. And so those are the major differences. So let's take a look at an example. 
Okay, if I've got rhombus F, G, H, J, and my intersection point there in the middle is K, where my diagonals come together, let's look at this first example. If F, J, H is 82 degrees, okay, so F, J, H, that is this whole angle right here. If that thing is 82 degrees, we want to find K, H, J. So that's going to be K, H, J. That's going to be this little angle right here. Okay? So let's take a look at that. I know by properties that FJH and GHK are supplementary. So I know that if I could take 180 minus 82, which that's going to leave me 98, that means that this whole angle is 98. And since, by definition of rhombus, the diagonals bisect that entire angle, if I want to fall, if I want to find the miniature piece or the smaller piece, I just divide that by two, because it's a bisector and it's going to cut it into two equal pieces. So that's going to make KHJ 49 degrees. Okay, let's look at our second example. GH is going to equal x plus 9 and jh is going to equal 5x minus 2. We want to solve for x. So the relationship between gh, that's going to be this side right here and the relationship of JH and that's going to be this side right here. So I know because this is a rhombus that all of my sides are congruent. So I'm just going to take X plus 9 and set it equal to 5x minus 2. And subtract that x, giving me 9 equals 4x minus 2. I'm going to add 2 to both sides. Okay, so come over here and I've got 4x equals 11. And so now I'm going to divide both sides by 4, and x equals 11 fourths. You can just leave it like that, or you can make it uh, 2 and 3 fourths if you would like to. Either one of those would be fine. Okay? So a little under nine minutes, that is 6-5, Rumbai and Squares.